Hello everyone, Basic Ollie here, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another stream, it's been eight days, it's good to be back. I hope you've had a lovely uh, week or so without me and I hope you're all well and um, thanks for joining me and thanks for not forgetting about me. I'm still here, I'm still alive, I I'm back from uh, Fort Aventura, um, I think I hope I spelled that right, or said it right, I can't spell it, it's a really awkward spelling, a keyboard is it's F U or F E U or something like that, anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, welcome, 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 welcome. It's going to be a completely chilled uh, stream, this one. Um, it's first day back. I've not really turned a wheel, to be honest. I've I've done five laps in this car at the Red Bull Ring just to see what it was like, and I um, I really liked it. But uh, thanks for joining me, everyone. Uh, lots of things to talk about in this stream. So, um, first of all, um, welcome back. And what do we think? The head is still thick. Absolutely, Alex. It's always thick. It will never go. Don't worry about that. Um, what do we think to the racing incident? Let's let's go straight into it. Well, I, you can see straight away. I do think it's a racing incident. I do. Um, I think it was... Uh, neither of them really wanted to give up that position, to be honest. So it was a um, real surprise. But let's say real surprise. It wasn't a surprise. From the come together... Um, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much the, the theme of this series. This season, I should say. I don't think... I don't think that's going to be the last one. I don't think that's going to be the last incident, you know. I really don't. I really, really don't. Uh, the Halo did an amazing job. I'll, I'll be honest with you. When I first saw it, I thought the Halo was absolutely awful. Took away the real feel of, you know, racing and the F1 series. And when you see them, you know, they've got the head out of the cockpit and how immersive it looks and all that kind of stuff. And I was, when it first came out, I'm sure there's a few people in the, in the chat as well. I was kind of against it. Um, but... My God, <laughs> it's proven time and time and again what a brilliant, um, what brilliant device that is. It's, um, yeah, that's been put on the car. So, yeah, I think yeah, say that Halo said that one for sure. Yeah, I mean that that tire on top of his head was that was kind of scary, wasn't it? You you can't say that wasn't scary. That was um, 
yeah, you can't say it's scary. Who cares if Fault is awesome to watch? That's good. That, you know, crazy Ninja. That's a good way to look at it, you know. It's, um, it was a cracking race. A McLaren won two as well. So, crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm, was it like 11 years or something like that since McLaren have done one two? Um, was it Canada 2010? I think they said. And then last win was, uh, I think, the Jensen Button 2012. I can't remember what track it was, though. Uh, I think, did they say Spa or something? I can't remember. Come on, Monza's always entertaining. Absolutely left for breath. Monza's always awesome. Really happy to see Daniel Rick uh, on, well, P1. Absolutely mega. So, uh, yeah, absolutely awesome. Yeah, uh, in my opinion, modern F1 cars without Halo look pretty bad. I suppose because we're so used to it now, aren't we? So used to it. Talking of cars, by the way. So, iRacing have released two new cars. So, anyone who's not up to date on iRacing or doesn't know anything. Uh, I've come back and there's two new cars and there's one new track. So, we're going to jump straight into new car today. It is the new Ferrari, and it looks very similar, and it's basically because a lot of it is, but it's got the Evo body kit on it, and the, I think this, I don't have the official description, which is annoying. Uh, they've changed parts of the engine and the aero. I think it's got a slightly longer wheelbase, and we'll have to quote me on that. Um, but, oh, updated dashboard as well, but it's, it's lovely to drive. <laughs> it's honestly, it is lovely to drive. It's a great car to drive. I only have five, six laps, and... I was really, really pleased. So we're going to do um, all the races tonight, apart from one, I think. Um, I run ranked, and you guys get to decide what they are. They're all 15 minutes long. Every single race is 15 minutes. And then 15 minutes after the race, there's another one. So you're guaranteed to get two races an hour. Simple. Easy. You're going to get two races an hour. Um, and I don't have work tomorrow, so we can make this stream for as long or as short as we want it to be, to be honest. So, so uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, let's jump into the Ferrari, then. And, uh... Uh, give it a try and see what it's like, shall we? I've gone for that kind of like um, blue metallic livery. I saw it and I was just like, that is gorgeous. Um, something about it. I don't, I don't know what it is, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, that is... Um, the metallic blue looks nice. I think in the replay camera, it will look a bit... It'll look a bit sexy, you know. So, look, I look forward to driving it, to be honest. Oh, I've got GT7 to talk about as well. <laughs> Crikey. Right, so... GT7 then, blimey, right, I've got to be honest, now be, be honest in the chat, okay, and, you know, please let me know if, if this is how you felt, right, when I was watching the trailer, right, I was watching the trailer, um, and I was, I was like, oh, there's lots of cool new things that we're finding out kind of thing, but not an awful lot, not without, like, someone to analyse it, and then it did the trailer, right, and then it just went to the next one, it went to the next game, and I was like, so we've got no release date again. I was like, what's the point? <laughs> what's the point of showing us all these new things if we never know when it's going to come out? You know? And then... <laughs> and someone... <did> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to iRacing, everyone. <laughs> um, and I was just... I was so frustrated. Um, I was like, what's going on? I was, I was like, how can we not have a release date? What, what, what's going on? How can we not have one yet? Come on. Um, but... Yeah, I was super pleased as soon as they saw it. I don't understand why it's not in the... Um, why they didn't put it in there. Why did they... Why is it on the thumbnail? You know? Why is it on the thumbnail? Didn't get that myself. Um, it, it was a separate video, wasn't it? Yeah, it's got a separate video. And it said on the thumbnail, the release date. So I was like, okay. But, yeah. Strange they didn't put it in their trailer. But, uh, yeah. Kind of... Um, confirmed PS4 version as well, didn't it? So, yeah, PS4 version's coming, boys and girls. No doubt about that. How much that will, um, kind of just reduce the potential of it, I don't know. Which I have to see. Oh, what kind of times are people doing? People in the 34s. I can't remember what kind of times we were doing when we did the um, sprint last Thursday. Two weeks ago, I should say. How about GTA 5 release again for PS5? I know, I know, I know. But listen, the thing is with GTA 5, right? If it didn't have the pl player base, you know, or the, the money coming in, they wouldn't bother touching it. So there are people out there who are still playing it, you know, and it's just still massive. Oh, there's an Audi sideways there. 
Best thing about GT7, you change your oil again. Ah, but does that... What was, does that give you a brake horsepower improvement? Do you remember, chat? What was the... What was the figure it used to give you? Was it... Was it 5% more... More brake horsepower or something like that? Can't remember what it was. Changed the oil. As soon as you got the car, you got an extra 10 brake horsepower or something. Five brake horsepower, there you go. Makes a difference. Ah, uh, Robert, yes, you still play oh, GTA. Now, do you play it online, as in, like... Well, that's nice, yeah. I uh, like the, um... Do you do the online races, or...? Yeah. New, G new time on full GT3's by the way. Yeah, uh, Vishnu, I... I, um... I, I think it's... Because this is a new car, I've not driven any other GT3 cars, so... I don't know how much it's the tyre model or the actual car itself that's nice. That makes sense? There's so much to talk about, bloody hell. Max has a free place grip point for Sochi. Yeah, heard about that. I saw the tweet uh, from F1. Now, whether you agree with that or not, I don't know, but... Um, I'd like to think the stewards are, are pretty damn good at their job. So... It's interesting. I, I never would have predicted him to get a penalty from that. Never would have predicted that. Car feels nice. Whether it's going to be quick or not, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully. And what's new on the Ferrari in terms of the dash? Uh, I believe uh, the lap time, the difference, and predicted. Is uh is brand new. You don't you didn't have that before. I don't believe so. I can't. Anyways, I don't remember it. P17. You're now 1.3 off the pace. That lap time was 136.60. In the Beamer, weren't we doing 36s? Maybe better. Like 34s was that ridiculous, was it? Okay, Oliver. We need to watch these track limits. So, first race is in two minutes of qualifying, uh, and then we can do the race. Turn off the engine noise. Uh, you can in the game settings, if you want to. You don't like the sound of the, you don't like the uh, engine noise, Ed? I don't mind it too much. Oh no, I'll keep the engine noise, no doubt about that, I won't turn it off. No way. Still don't feel as if I can attack those curbs uh, like I could in the Beamer. Hey, Herds of Turtle. Max too hot-headed. I, th I did find it a bit funny where he said he did. that's what happens when you don't leave the space when Max is renowned for not ever giving people space at all. But yeah, you could definitely see his point. That was nice, really. Uh, I've not heard anything about the GT3 cars, Real BS. In terms of, like, you know, what cars are going to be... We don't know anything yet. We're still waiting for information to come out about that. We don't know anything about online either, really. Um, Key told me or tweeted me to say that there will be um, FIAs and daily races. They've been confirmed. 
there's a I believe they call it a, a, a sport mode so I assume that's online I think I can break later for that. The 34.5, Jesus. Richard. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to watch any of the um, breakdown videos as such because I <laughs> was a different bloody country. So I think sport mode on GT7. There we go, we've got the 35s. Eventually. I think there's definitely more time in there as well. Um, so sport mode will be online with uh, FIA stuff as well. Ah, Beetle Man, wise Beetle, deploying a like, absolutely. As always, chat, if you're enjoying, please do consider hitting it. Annoyingly, I'm getting a few dislikes as soon as I put videos or streams out. Get like two or three instantly. So I don't know what's going on there. I think I'm being trolled. Yeah. Poor Alpha Tower, couldn't get any worse from their race. Yeah, their race was a strange one, wasn't it? It wasn't really a race at all. Um, yeah, was it suspension and then brakes, I think? So suspension for Gasly and brakes for Yuki, I believe. Ha, <laughs> cheers, Marcus. Oh, Beetle Man, I know it wasn't you. It must be the thick head it's got to be, Alex. As long as, the, as long as the likes outweigh the dislikes, I guess. Video interaction, maybe? I don't know. Might help, might not. Who knows? Yeah, nice Sunday chill stream, Chris. Um, just a bit of a bit of a chilled one, to be honest. Um, just enjoying being back streaming again, to be honest. Yeah, Samuel, I'm with you on that one, I think. People are intimidated by my head. Well, it is incredibly large. Crazy Ninja, so. No, I wouldn't really blame them. Here, that's a random question. Thoughts on Christi Cristiano uh, to United? Uh, brilliant for the Premier League and for football and for Man United especially. Um, just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You know, I flew home. Um, I flew home Friday. Okay, so I flew home Friday. I then uh, got home about half eight. Um, <laughs> went to bed because we were shattered. Uh, woke up and then left uh, about 10 a.m. to travel from uh, essentially uh, Cambridgeshire uh, to Southampton, which is about three hours. So I <laughs> I did a an hour I did an hour trip to the to the airport, then I did a four hour flight, and then I did an hour and a half trip home, uh, and then I slept, and then I did a three hour trip to Southampton, and in Southampton. Uh, there was a boat show. It's like the biggest in the UK or whatever. So it was like all the all the um, all the big ships were there. There's loads of stuff there, and there's just no parking. So um, yeah, that that kind of annoyed me. I watched the game nil nil. So <laughs> I watched the nil nil game. And I drove for three hours. So I'd gone from hotel to airport to home to Southampton and then home again uh, within 24 hours, basically. And I was absolutely screwed. I was yeah. I was knackered. So today it was nice to have a day off and just just watch the F1, to be honest. Right, anyways, enough of me talking bollocks as always. Let's do it. Okay. First first time doing qualifying this. Fixed setup series, by the way. So I've got no setup. Um, everyone's got the same. No idea what cars people are in. I'm just going with the Ferrari because it's new and I fancy it. Hey, Phil. I think we can get the 35s again. That'll be awesome. Certainly better over the curbs than I think the, the Lambo and especially the Porsche. But BMW is king on the Porsche. Uh, uh, curb, sorry. Hey, Matt. How's it going, mate? Ball 30 a.m. Wow. What's the reason for being up so early, mate? Just can't sleep? The track temp's increasing. It's now 39 Celsius. 39 degrees, toasty. Mm. 
Ah, uh, I've got to travel now to work at 4am, mate. That is fair play. I'm the number one car. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. I heard about the Harvey Elliott um, injury, Andy, but I haven't seen the actual challenge itself. I don't know if it was a bad one or, you know, if it was, you know, how malicious it was. I have no idea. Oh, I've gone off track already. Jeez. All right, count then. Okay. I break... <laughs> that was funny. I break too early, right? So I turned in too early, so I ended up... <laughs> getting an off track straight away. Okay. Use this as a... A test. See what, see what the time will be. Or what could have been. Layering harder. I have to excuse me, chat. I am a bit rusty. It was a malicious, but it was a red fair. I think I need to get the 35s if we're going to be near the top. Yeah, honestly, Grandad, the Ferrari's always handled well. Always good on traction, handles well, good over curbs. It's just a very solid car. I recommend anyone, if you're starting iRacing, first GT3 car to buy, apart from the BMW, would be this one. Okay. tentative over those curves. Better coming out of there. Too late on the brakes in that one, but what a good exit. There's one guy in the 35s. Definitely more time in that last sector as well. What's that? 86 one. I, de I could definitely. There's definitely more time in that. 100%. That final chicane. Um, it felt like I went in a little bit too slow. I took too much curve as well. We'll take it. We'll, t we'll take a P4 for now. I definitely think I could have got the 35. So I didn't practice. So you know, with 10, 15 laps of practice. Who knows what we can get, but. I can just stop using GT3 and switch back to formula. Uh, I just really like this wheel, Connor. Like, um, the LEDs are gorgeous, to be honest. The buttons are absolutely fantastic. Um, the shifter pedals are lovely. Um, nothing in particular. I just... I do, I do prefer the size of the McLaren wheel. Um, but I just really like using this wheel at the moment. It's um, a very, very nice wheel. Simple as that. It's just a nice wheel. Yeah, bit off topic, but um, I bought a mini like aircon um, little machine where you can fill it with water or cold water with ice, 
and it should blow cold air so I can keep the door closed uh, and not wind Chloe up as much, shall we say. Um, I've got a max at the moment. It's okay. It's not quite doing the job. Let's bring it a little bit closer. Uh, is it the carbon? It's a Formula V 2.5, Connor. Am I using a CSL DD? I am, Abdullah. I am indeed. Oh, yeah. I'm using that at the moment. Uh, the button covers are crap. Ingo, I agree. It's the one thing I have mentioned it to them. It's the one thing I would wish they would change is the, um, yeah, it's the covers, the little button caps or whatever. They're a bit, they're a bit soft, aren't they? They break really easily. The only thing I would want to change if I could. Force on GT7, Ollie. Uh, it seems very nice PS4 player. I'm happy to buy it myself. Yeah, that's good for you. As for PS4 players, I think we've gone a few times. PS4 players, it's great. Um, but I mentioned this. I mentioned this in the Discord. It's not. You got to think when it comes to that game, right? And I'm glad it's on PS4. But it definitely hinders the potential of the game. The fact it's on PS4. There's no doubt about that. Um, there's there's going to be so many restrictions because of it. Um, you know, and that game, for the next three, four years that this is out until the next one, that's got to be able to play on the PS4, which in four years' time will be a 12-year-old console. So, you know, a bit scary uh, when you think of it like that. Um, but I don't know. I think... That's the end of the session. So before. when it first came out, I don't know how you... Uh, well, I'm just I'm going to talk about it now. I'm just going to ramble a little bit. But when it came out, right... Did anyone notice straight away that the the pitch was different from like the first trailer, you know? Like it was like um, the background for everything was different. And I don't know whether that was changed because they had to make it a PS4 version. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Um, like all the icons, like the map was just different. It was just weird. Um, so I thought that, that was strange. Um, it looked awesome. Bit slightly disappointed that the UI is not changed. Maybe it will. By UI, I mean like the... Um, uh, what do you call it, where it's got all the data on the top left-hand side, the map, timings, you know. I was hoping it would be a little bit, um, you know, it would change a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, it looks like uh, you've got, you got the workout, you've got the GT Auto, which is awesome. You've got used cars, you should have a really, really good career mode. Hey, Reese, how's it going, mate? Um, yeah, so you've got the career mode, GT Auto as well. Um, again... I really, I tweeted about this as well. I really don't know if we're going to see much change in terms of uh, online. I really, I really don't know. Because again, because it has to be PS4. How's FIA going to work? You know, if you've got an FIA race, but someone's on PS4 and you got someone on PS5, if they merge together, um, you know, because of that, then the lobby size would be limited. You know, you can't. Maybe it'll just be stuck to twenty again. Uh, and that's going to be really disappointing for a game that is on P PlayStation 5. And you can only run a max of 20 people online. That is really... You know. That's, that's frustrating. I know, it's a 15 minute race. Um, no fuel or tyres to worry about. Just got to get it. P4 in the end. Right next to me. Well, I need to put the wing mirrors on. Hey, did you place? All right, Oliver. Here we go. Okay, we're off. Go, go, go. Fifteen minutes left. Whoa. The slam on the brakes to not go in the back of him then. Really nice through here. Side's 
clear. He's gone to the back of him, isn't he? Oh! No, he's just got the inside. The Porsche was wary. I think the Ferrari went back. <laughs> I don't think the Ferrari meant to do that. I think he outbraked himself and then the Porsche was kind of an all crap and moved out of the way. Car sounds better, Baz, 100%. He's had to break early. Car right. He's still there. Still there. Still there. Clear right. P3. Lovely. Got to be careful over that first curve. It's really important to get it right. Hey, Stuart. Thank you for the free, my guy. I'll read that as soon as I can, mate. Where's the tan? You went skeggy, didn't you? Stuart, let me, let me explain something to you right now. I, I've, I'm a sim racer, okay? And what that means is that I do not tan. I simply burn. And because I'm so white, I'm so pale, um, it kind of deflects the sun. It's, it's quite something. Damn, son. You oh, it's too deep. This? Come on. All over the back of this Ferrari at the start. Let's start, first lap. I lost three temps to him over those curbs. Okay, Oliver, there's a car engine in the pits. Heads up. How's it? Kenny. Fair to eat. <laughs> Fair play to Ian Malone here. He's had an issue. Had to pit for some reason. Come back. <laughs> He's come back out. Only on lap three though. Hey, Hanzilla. Thank you, mate. On your right. Clear right. Okay, this Porsche qualified first or second. It looks quick. Ah, I didn't go. Didn't stay on the brake for long enough there. I let go too early. Why well, is my race generally better than qualifying? I know some people are made for qualifying. I feel like I do. I do an okay. I feel like I'm. I'm normally, you know, top five, top ten kind of thing. But I'm never. I think you're right. I'm never. You know, fighting for a pole. I don't think. Every now and then I'll get one. They seem to generally do better on the race. What track is this? this is Montreal. That was felt really nice there. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. I'll have to make sure we set that up at some point. <laughs> Quite sure how I would even do that. Just have to buy a hot tub first. That guy in the Ferrari is quick. Let's call up to that Beamer pretty rapidly. Feels like a good lap. Three temps up.
Much better. Be faster than my quality lap, isn't it? Pimping out Ducky, yeah, Ducky's mine, mate. I'll p I'll pimp him out as much as I want. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is he gone for it there? Jeez. That'll slow for that. Hello, lads. That was a 136.09. That's your fastest lap today. I don't know if this BMW driver is feeling the pressure a little bit. That's nice Ferrari's backed off him. Six temps now. Hey Paul, it was very good, thanks mate. Nice to have a break. Does wonders sometimes. Oh, did he hit the wall there? I think he hit the wall there. Fine. Oh, sorry, mate. I've like it's sugar. Oh, I think that might be my fault. Who's that? Sorry, Kenny. Ah, okay. Make sure to send a message. I was murdered him, didn't I? Kenny! I'm sorry, Kenny. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a murder. I, I do apologise. <laughs> oh dear. First race, guys, please. Two is one point six seconds off the pace. Love looking back at it. I think I just simply outbreak myself. How have you been disqualified? How did you get disqualified from a fifteen-minute race with no penalty limits? Impressive. <laughs> I did kill Kenny, and I am a bastard. <laughs> Goes on holiday, <laughs> comes back, murders someone instantly. That's a good thing this is done a ranked lap race, I will say that. Streaming tomorrow? I, I hope so. Real BS, we'll see. Um, GT Sport Daily Races. Let me get back in the swing of GT Sport. It was Ericsson's fault. Had to be. Yeah, Andrew, <laughs> my my apologies. He's, he's, he's a bit turdy in the old chat. Yeah, my 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 bad, dude. Hopefully he doesn't disconnect and I can send him a message. This BMW driver, Joe Winter here, has really picked up the pace. He must be lapping in the 35s. Back to work tomorrow. No, I'm not, Paul, actually. Scumbag. Ah, oh, for God's sake. It's what, it's, it, it kind of annoys me a little bit. Like, I was racing cleanly with him earlier. I'm not, you know... I don't mean to take him out. I can't. I can't grab anything to say I'm sorry. You know. Ah dear. 
Basics four last. Okay, only a tenth then. Okay. But it's just like it's an un it's an unranked it's an unranked race. You know, it was an accident. It wasn't. It wasn't deliberate. Racing like a task piece. Should have let him pass. I would have done if it wasn't for the three or four cars I had behind me. I had three or four cars behind me. Uh, and then it's just... It's, it's, it's a bit weird. It's not like GT Sport where you can just stop and pull over to the side. Like, if I, if I stop, like I try to there, that Porsche just went straight into the back of me. And then I'm just causing issue after issue after issue. So, his race is ruined. There's no point ruining my one as well kind of thing. flag. Not quite. Well, that time's dropped a little bit. Very easy to say it's damage. It seems okay in a straight line. Max taught me well. Left, oh, damn it. That lap time was 136.69. I had a 36 1 earlier or something, so come on. Whoop, up, uh, yeah, losing time there. Might not have just updated for you, Funky. Thanks for over 100 likes, everyone. 100 likes equals one murder. So, you know, I'm a man of my word. <laughs> yeah, P1 isn't that much faster. I know, I know. It's um, it's a bit bizarre ever since I've had that contact from the rear. I've, I'm, I'm like, um, I feel like I'm like half a second down for some reason. I don't know why. But it's not in a straight line. Maybe I've just a bit of a confidence whack or something, I don't know. Hey Josh! How's it going, mate? Everything's okay. I did murder someone and he called me a scumbag. That was fun. As long as he didn't call me a deal though, right? Seems like a better lap. I've forgotten to uh, mention as well, by the way. Um, I have bought the Ford GT. If you do, if you want to see us try that tonight, because it got a massive buff, so it might actually be good. Okay, this, I think last lap and this lap I've seen to have gained a bit of time in, but it's a little bit too late unfortunately. How <laughs> lucky hell to hell.
Oh, that's too hot. Oh, God. That was a bit scary. Okay. Start. Whoa. <laughs> Let's help him on his way, shall we? It's unranked. See ya. <laughs> 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 I killed him. <sighs> Disconnected. It was, uh, do you know what? It's it's one of those things, right? Let's actually let's have a look at this first. Now this is a bonk. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So let's go. What lap was it? Okay. Is it lap? Is here. Okay, so I want all I want to do is apologise to this guy, but all but he just called me a scumbag and then left. And it, and it's not a ranked race; it's unranked, so it doesn't make a difference. It does, makes no difference to any sort of rating at all. So I want to you want to say sorry because obviously I was in the wrong. So I'll, I think I'll need to apologise for the racing incident. But it's a bit annoying that he went straight for the insults and didn't give us a chance to. You know, apologise. Yeah, it was the. T it was the. T See, this is what I mean, right? I know someone said you should have stopped and let him go, but as soon as I make contact with him, uh, and then I stop to say, "Oh, sorry," but I just cause that. It's just, you know, just causes incidents. It's just best to best to let it go. But that's that's 100% on me. Um, no, no doubt. Um, that is 100% my fault. So, uh, yeah, if I get the chance, I'll apologise to him. I'll uh, sure be in the next one. It was really, like, it, it, I feel like that was, like, the tiniest of touches, you know. Where's the, let's go to the nose cam. Uh, where are you at the top? Okay. Even Carl. In terms of murders, um, okay. In terms of murders... It wasn't, it wasn't the biggest murder, you know. I, I, you, I've done worse. I've done worse, shall we say. So six out of ten, I, I would say that's acceptable. Actually, to be fair, I would say maybe like a four. Oh, Fernando Torres is in here. Hello. Um, because one, his car's perfectly fine. Two, he could carry on with his race. Um, and three, he probably lost about five seconds. Five ten seconds from it, so it wasn't like it was, you know. What? What? He left straight away, didn't he? After that, why did he leave? Why did he leave? Did he bin it somewhere. Oh so, yeah, because after that, what did he do? Oh, he just. He just gave up. He just gave up. So after that, he just gave up and went, nah. CBA, bro. Okay. Fair enough. Not much I can do about that. Okay. So it looks like as soon as we... <coughs> excuse me. As soon as we finish the race, we need to go straight into another one then. Because otherwise we miss the entry for the next one. Hmm, interesting. So let's have a quick look at the poll then. So 52% of you said it's a racing incident. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Certainly, I would, I would agree. Uh, majority on Max rather than Lewis. So we have to pick between the two. It looks like Max is more to blame than Lewis. I think I'm, think I'm with you. Ah, Zen's in here. Hello, hello, hello. I uh, just ordered a Porsche Cup 9, 991. It's a pretty hard car to drive. Yes, it is. It is a very hard car to drive. So... I was going to say, so I'll move you over to this screen. Hang on. So you guys can decide. Hello. So hello. Oh, hello, Ducky. Nice to see you. It's been, um, it's been a while. Um, so basically, we've got the choice between four series that we can race in tonight. So we've got sh Shiny New Shakedown, um, which is either the Porsche or the Ferrari, uh, which are both new cars, and it's in the Hungar ring. All right. Um, Multi-class, 12-minute race. Um, so that's that one. Uh, you then got the GT3 Challenge, which is at um, the track we just raced at, Canada. 
Uh, and we've got a choice of all these cars here. Uh, and we've also got the Ford GT, which you can try at some point. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, and then we've got the Ferrari GT3 Challenge, which is all Ferraris, the new ones, at Road Atlanta. Um, and that is also a 15-minute race. Uh, and then we also have the choice of the Porsche, which is uh, one of, renowned for being the, one of the most difficult cars to drive on the game. It's, much, it's I say much better. It's a little bit better now. It's the new ones out. Um, but that's at the Hungar Ring. And again, 15-minute race. But this one is ranked. So we can't, we can't be a dick. We've got, we got to behave ourselves. We've got, we got to be good boys and girls, you know, if we, if we did this one. So out of the shiny new shakedown, GT3 Challenge, Ferrari and Porsche, is there any in particular, chat, that you're feeling a little bit, you know, do you feel like you would enjoy or want to see the most? What would you like to see out of them? What would you like to see? We want to see. I've seen a few. I've seen Ford, uh, the Ford GT. A few people have seen the Ford GT. Uh, Multi-class race could be yet. Yeah. I hope you've got Zen. I hope you've got the 992. Got a few for the Porsche Cup. I racing as a new ad. Oh, welcome, Sebastian. I wonder what the ad is. <laughs> I haven't had it yet. I've not had the the privilege. Porsche and GT, it's really close. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go and do a poll. Um, because it's really close. It's like neck, neck, neck and neck. So we can do. I think we'll go. For, we can go for the Ford GT, or we can go for the Porsche Cup. So what do you reckon out of those two? I'll make a poll. Hey Tracy, yeah, it was good. Thanks, Tracy. It was uh, nice. It was nice to get away for a week. I'm gonna quickly adjust this. It's more of a face. Hmm, 50 50. Oh, ha! <laughs> okay, so we got the. It looks like the 4GT is winning it, so I'll leave it to run for a couple minutes. Uh, and then we'll jump in the 4GT. I have not done. I have never turned a steering wheel on the Ford GT. I have no idea um, what it's like. You know, yeah, I hope it's good. Um, you know, it's it's in the BOP. It lost 15 kilos in weight. So I'm hoping that makes a big difference. And we'll see what kind of times it does. It'd be important to see um, what we like on the curves. The curves would be really important. Um, they really are Montreal, I think. Hey Bear Dan, yes, yeah, good. Thanks, mate. Thanks for joining. I hope you're well. Yeah, it's uh, it's not it's not too bad today. I'd say. Really, um, this thing this thing isn't counting. This is what I got. Yeah. Um, it's this little climax air, and what's you fill it up with cold water at the top, and you blow it in your face. It's been nice and cold, and I've got it on max, but it's not. It's not really doing much, I've got to be honest. So, hmm. It is what it is though, I guess. Right. Not much else we can do. <laughs> I lost 15 kilos in weight once, but I found it again thanks to Domino's. Nice. I hope it was a good choice to Domino's Peter as well. Don't tell me you, you know, you gained all your weight in Domino's on Veggie Supreme or something like that. Don't do that. Don't, don't. Don't tell me you gained all that weight on, on that. Don't. Tell me at least it was a Mighty Meteor or a Meteor or a Texas Barbecue or something, man. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> right, it looks like the 4 GTs, won it? So we're going to go, we're going to pop in the old 4 GT. We've got to remember, as soon as the race finishes, uh, we've got to uh, jump into the next one. Otherwise, it doesn't give us, give us enough time, I believe. So, yeah, let's we'll see if we can do that. Right, Ford GT. Oh, God, I'm not sure I want to do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice to do. The US menu is way better. Um, I, I uh, what was it? I was going to meant what I was going to say. Has anyone seen those videos? Um, I don't know what their channel's called, right? It's where they compare... Uh, UK food to food in the United States, like say like Domino's 
UK versus USA, and they do McDonald's and they do the KFC. Um, I've got to say, like um, the USA menu always looks more spectacular. It's got more stuff on it. You get more food, um, but it's scary when you see how much more craps in it. You know, there's a lot. There's a they, there's a lot of crap that goes in that food in America compared to us in the UK. We've got we've got lots of laws about what can be um, what can be in it and stuff like that. It's really um it's it's really weird. Uh, we've got like a third of the ingredients that you you have in like uh the Americas. It's strange. But, um but yeah. And the la I think large pizza here a large pizza here is twelve inches. And I think I think in America you can probably quote me wrong on that. it's probably gonna be wrong. I think it's fourteen, isn't it? I think you can get a large in America fourteen, fourteen inches. So our biggest is twelve. But the thing is, oh, the largest 16. Wow. Okay, it's so an extra four inches. Now, that might not sound, well, it might not sound crazy, but that's, that's an extra 25%. Um, but as obviously as it gets bigger, the circumference is bigger around the edge as well. So it's actually, <laughs> it's not just the four inches there, it's the circumference as well. So I think when they cut it up or, you know, they, they did the math on it, um, it's massive. The difference is massive. It's crazy. You can get extra large for eight, 18 inches. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. 18 inch pizza. Jesus. Get a six foot pizza in Nottingham City Centre. That sounds about right. <laughs> Josh says he could do with an extra four inches. Can we all, mate? Can we all? So it's 10 inch small, so, <laughs> so the 10 inch in America, small, is our medium, and then our large is your medium. Uh, 14 would be an XL for us, and then 16 would, pff, yeah, that's, um, damn. Uh, have I seen a new cockpit from um, Next Level Racing, part of iRacing? I have, it does look good. It does look a better seat, so hopefully the, the lever doesn't peel like this one. Josh, two inches is massive. Absolutely, Josh, mate. Absolutely, Josh. If anyone says two inches is a little pecker, they're lying to you, mate. Because they've got only one inch. Right, let's try the four GT, shall we? Oh. Okay. Now, I imagine this is running a big old V8. Exit's clear. Push. Okay, sounds good. Right, right. It was very low. I don't seem to have a paint job, so I think I'm going to have to sort that out. Oh, crikey, I haven't swapped over. Hang on. There you go. Sorry about that. Hang on. Wait for it. There you go. I forgot to change over. It's a bit funny otherwise. So I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get livery for this. Because I'm running black and yellow stripes at the moment. Professional streaming, Steve, you know I'm a professional streamer. It's clear. What's it like over the curbs? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like that. Uh, to be fair, I've got to slow down. Is it is it V six or V eight? I don't know. That's a bit too raspy for a V six, surely. Surely. A bit raspy there. Did I really cut this. It didn't feel like I did. Oh, I did. I did. To be fair, <laughs> ah, I did. That livery is not exactly great, is it? 
Okay, right, I'm going to put focused on crashes whilst I look for... Oh, ha! <laughs> That's good timing. Um, I'm going to do that whilst I quickly look for a livery. Have a look. If I can show you guys a livery, I shall. We can choose which livery we want to run the old 4 GT on. What do we got? What do we got for us, 4 GT? Okay. Find the paint. It's a bit small. I would, I would give you guys the option to have a look, but it's a little bit too small, unfortunately. It, you wouldn't really be able to see it. Hmm. Just gonna have to trust my judgment on this one. <laughs> Service crap. You can blame it on me. Ooh. Okay. I've got, I've got one for the, I've got one for the uh, Gran Turismo fanboys out there. So I have gone for the Gran Turismo 4, uh, 4 GT uh, Le Mans livery. That's the white with the black stripes. So it, it should look pretty tasty. And that's the one I've gone for. So hopefully if it loads, we'll be able to see it. Golf livery. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> hello. What's happened here then? Hey, 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 hey. I want to see what happened there. Hey, hey, hey. What was that? Who the... Oh, <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> just in the middle of the road. See you. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. He's just out. So he's just simply outbraked himself, right? Uh, and I think he's just tried to hold the brakes. He's just letting it roll. No. I, look, he's taking ages to respond. I, yeah. He's just waiting. There you go. Someone's coming across. He's gone over back to the right. He's trying to turn. At this point, I don't know why he hasn't towed. Oh, here we go. Here we go, boys. The size... <laughs> That's exactly what you shouldn't do. All right? Because he's, he's literally just waited and waited and waited. And then gone, aha. Now I'll, now I'll move. Okay, come on. Hopefully you'll like this chat. Hopefully it'll look supreme. Come on, iRacing. Give it to us. Show the chat what they want to see. Come on. We just got a white 4 GT in the moment. It's gonna it's gonna change. Bear with me. Bear with me whilst it loads. It's just having a bit of a moment. We'll see what it's like. We got the guy who changes his um, suit as well. Go on, crashes again. Back to me. Nah, just taking a while. Okay, does anyone actually confirm whether this is a a V6 or a V8? By the way, my my assumption is this that this is a V8. Okay, so it's got a black and yellow. I have changed it, so I'm hoping in a second uh, it's going to go back to normal. It should do, anyways. The leader's just done it. 135.75. Come on. Oh. If it don't work, it don't work. We'll just go with whatever paint scheme it gives us. It'll, it'll update at some point. Might just take a while. V8, new one's V6, thank you. So the new one is the GTE in this game. Yeah, that's done control art. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll sort out. Oh no. I feel, um, I don't know how it looks, um, from your point of view, chat. I feel like this, I know I'm on the, obviously the left side of the car, but I feel like I'm very centred. You popped your iRacing cherry this week. Would you recommend it? Oh, nice poop, daddy. Uh, sticking the MX-5s for now. 
wait till you get get rid of, get our rookies, and then go for the um, Ferrari GT3 fix challenge. You'll um, you get the chance to drive the new Ferrari, which is mega. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to uh, race a load of awesome tracks. Normally, get some good race in the Ferrari GT3 fix as well. So. Yeah, I'd recommend I'd recommend uh, that. Stay in the MX-5, get out of rookies, get your Class D, and then go with a Ferrari. Oh, I'm it a bit more than I expected. Oh, another murder? Not quite. I'll sign it up, chat. Bit more loosey goosey on the rear. Obstacle illusion, she's a wide beastie. She might be. I'll tell you what we might do as well, for a bit of fun, should we start on the back for this one? What do you think? Start on the back for this one? See how many positions we can gain in the four GT. Hey, okay, goes off to bed. Take care, mate. <laughs> Pit lane star. <laughs> Back to podium Bottas style. <laughs> Not murdering someone should be the first priority. <laughs> That's true. And it would increase the chance of murdering someone again if I started from the back. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm really cutting that corner. Need to slow down and give back some time. Very I'm Really surprised by that. How's it feel? I don't really know at the moment. Um, rear feels a little bit scary. Um, the curbs as well. It feels a little bit. Um, our suspension is really soft. Oh God! Jaw. <laughs> Well, car are we? And we're in the 4 GT, Alex, for the first time. There's cars everywhere in this series. What's going on? Looks like you can rev to about seven and a half thousand revs before it starts kicking you in the plums. I destroyed them curves. Oh, lads, lads, lads! <laughs> God! <laughs> fuck's sake! <laughs> oh, I can't get a lap in! What the hell happened there? The lads, obviously, up here have had a little coming together. The lads. Ah, Le Leandro, thank you for coming a member, my guy. Thank you very much. Welcome to Basic Fan, welcome along. Basic uh, Leandro, welcome along, my guy. Thank you very much. What? Oh. Oh, friend. Oh, new friend. Welcome, dude. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. oh, 
Hang on. Why is that taken? Why is that in such pain? I wanted to see that. Ah, oh, right, because it went to pit. Oh, so he's just gone into the back in there. This car's battered, isn't it? What the hell's happened to him? And this as well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You'd hope they know each other if they did that. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Think I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> well, to be fair, that, that is true. I'm a little bit rusty, but... Right, come on. I want to... I get this bloody paint on this bloody car working. Face this paint. Come on. All right, that is saved and updated. So, come on. I, I see. I see. It's white. Come on. Still white. It's got it on. Chat, it's got it on. We've done it. Even Martin. We've got it on. Have a look at this. Here we go. Nice. There we go. There we go. But shit is the Le Mans. It's got a few things missing. It looks pretty plain, to be honest, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Not being able to get in a lap in at the moment. Optimals of 37.1. Definitely go quicker than that. Glad Hamlin's okay, yeah. The, the picture, um, you know, that I think everyone's seen now of that tyre being on uh, Lewis's head was, um, it was a pretty scary picture, wasn't it? start Ollie and I hit the wall yeah Halo said it's worth 100% like I said I, I was never a fan of it immediately because I hate the way it looks but I take that out of it it's, it's shown it's worth several times already so yeah really glad it's uh, it's working it looks clear. I'd love to get a lap in before this race actually starts A little bit more careful around here. Anyone um, see, by the way, as well, George Russell got some more points for Williams. Hey, what, what did they go? Four years, was it, without scoring a point? And they scored, uh, you know, what's that Ferrari again? In the last three, ra four races, they scored points in three of them. George Russell doing bits again. What series you recommend for C Class? Uh, I think if you can do the GT3 fixed, Connor, I would recommend that. Hey, Jerry. How's it going, mate? Yeah, I hate the way it looks, but it stays lives and whatever. I agree, crazy, yeah. That was good. I think the Williams was way faster. I think it's got some upgrades. Oh, I'll be, hmm. I'd be surprised if teams were doing many more upgrades, to be honest. It's been the same car now, or, you know. I'm trying to think of the word. Not the same car, but the same rules as such for quite a while now, so. You know, I don't know how much you can really develop to make it go much quicker. I suppose look at, look at Mercedes, they're constantly doing it. But 
Yeah. Okay, I've not had a chance to actually get a lap in, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, you, my main, my point is what I'm Way, hello, hello, darling. That looks painful. Oh, it was, <laughs> it was Jim. Um, I've lost track of my thoughts now. Yeah, what I was trying to say is that basically you don't. I hope they're not putting all their resources into the this cut this this car to desperately get some points. <laughs> um, and then they've got nothing for next season, you know. But that that's my concern. I don't want that to happen. You know, that would really suck. If that was the case. Really, really suck. We remove Hamilton Verstappen from every race. You know what, Michael? It's funny, isn't it? It was um. It was it was weird to see as soon as you took them out, um, you know the top six or seven were they were all fighting essentially, you know for a podium or a, or a win which was awesome, you know. But I think if you take the two fastest guys out of it, it's that's going to happen, isn't it? It's going to mix up a lot more. But yeah, prediction for next year's Aston will be a top team and Haas will be top five. Whew, that's brave. That's a brave prediction. We have no idea. That's the thing about it as well. We have absolutely no idea, you know, what it's going to be like for next year. No, nobody knows. It's going to be a strange old one, seeing these new cars. They do, I think the new cars really do look nice. They do. Um, as soon as they put some liveries on them as well, they should look, should look golden. It should, it should be nice. Hopefully there's not a team that kind of runs away with it, as soon as Merck did for like, well, certainly this year really. They've been challenged, haven't they? Maybe the Ferrari year, or they got found out for having a legal engine, but. They spent all their R&D on 2022. That is true, Gary. That is actually true. So you'd hope no investment in this year's car and all their money into next year's. It's got to be good, isn't it? Sweep the bigger wheels. New era is really intriguing. You can see if it tightened up the racing. Yeah, I hope so. I hope they oh yeah, I hope it's the right decision, of course. You know? We'll have to see. How'd you change the camera view in iRacing? racing? I'm such a noob. Uh Gibbo, you can't change the um the cam you can change the field of view, which is basically how much it's zoomed in. And you can change, you know, how high up or down you are, but it is a simulator, so you are in the cockpit and you're in the driver's seat. You cannot change it. You have to stay in that position. Everyone drives in the same view. Yes, Iris, true. Better ground effect, less dirty air, shirts close racing in. Absolutely. That's that's the hope. That's the hope, isn't it? Okay, what what am I ranked in here? Oh my goodness. We've <laughs> <laughs> oh no, chat. We've got in the wrong car for this lobby. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, we're right at the bottom of this. We're second to last in rankings. By the looks of it, we, well, no, actually, we're not. This is 26, so it can't be too bad. Look at that, the top three 7.6, 6.7, 6.4. <laughs> oh, we're going to qualify because we're going to get our ass kicked in this. This is a top split, baby. Oh goodness me. Push now. We've got two laps. Let's get this done. <laughs> you stuck the Laguna setup on for Spa. Ouch man. That's been a sitting duck on those straights. You fucks I am Andy. I am. Okay. Operation don't qualify last is to full effect here.
I didn't feel quick. It's nice to drive, I have to say. Like, it's, this, this feels nice to drive. Is it quick? I don't think so. <laughs> Cheers, Baz. Yeah, good to be back, mate. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 35 Celsius. Obviously, Schumacher in a better car. Yeah, <clears throat> I think we all would. But I think he's doing the... I would say it's the right decision, but there is there is no other seat open for him at the moment. And Hass are lucky to have him, I think. If they just had Mazepin and someone else, <laughs> not be good. P3, your last lap That's a good time. One thirty-six point three eight. <laughs> That's close. I got a, I get a 36 one in the Ferrari, I think. Well, I might have actually got a 36 three. Ferrari, I don't know. Ah, no. Oh no! Lost two temps there. The leader has just done a 136.08. The leader has just done a 135.45. Oh, I was committed to that! Basics flat. Almost in the 35s. If I didn't mess up that far, maybe. Mm, now nah, it's 36 to 046. There's not, there wasn't a 35 in there. Hmm. I still feel like that was a good time. Where's that actually put me? Hey! That's weird. Are people just starting from the back on purpose? What's going on here? Why am I P4? Are you see? Why am I P4 right now? What is going on here? Has it just got people not qualifying? It's a big jump, four temps there, look. From me to Mark in front of me. Hmm. How weird is that? Big jump. Bruno, what's it? Oh wow, two thousandths of a second between P1 and P2. I mean, I've got to be pleased with that, right? All doing last to first challenges, then 15 minute race. GG's, bro. I think it's quite nice because basically they've got such high I rating, so they can never start from the back. You know, they've always got to qualify near the top. But I assume because it's an unranked race, they're quite happy to just start from the back and see what they can do and have some fun for once. Okay. I'm, I'm still... I still think a 36 flat's good. You know? I think the, the people that have beaten me are a bit alien. 3.7, 3.8 and a 5.7. So, yeah. They got the pace on me. You beat someone with 3.9k though. 
And we're in a four GT. Which is definitely the slowest out of all of them. So we'll, we'll take it. No doubt in my mind, I will take that. That's awesome. Really, really pleased with that. How can I not be? Alright. I wonder... Whilst that's doing that, I wonder if I can register for... The next one whilst it's doing it. Um. Okay. Hmm. That's the end of the session. P4. P4. Take it, boys and girls. Uh, isn't the Audi a beast to drive? It used to be. It used to be. Not anymore. Uh, I think the BOP change that they've done for Season 4, I think it has made it a bit better. I always like driving the Audi. Keep it clean. One and two, maybe Tangle. That's true. But we've got a, a McLaren and an Audi. So, yeah. Hmm. Wish this game would come to console. Andrew, it would be awesome. Um, but that that's a big debate. Uh, Gibbo, no, you don't gain it. I don't think you do anything in safety either, Gibbo. I think you do you're nothing. It just, it's just unranked. You can still get reported, so you still got to behave yourself. This doesn't quite. Mm. It'll be a real rush. I, I, I think. I think annoyingly because of the blue flag. Um. Because of the blue flag, I mean white flag. At the end, it's really tight in order to make. You've got like sixty seconds to register for the next one. Right, it'll depend. Oh, there you go. There's the flames. If I can somehow muster a podium out of this, I'll be very pleased. The three guys around me are much quicker. You know, half a second on me. <laughs> he went in the back of that McLaren then. Oh, oh, they crashed! Oh, <laughs> they crashed! Oh, goodness me! Oh, God, that was a terrible start. I got caught. Space, 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 space. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I could not hold onto that wheel then. Yeah, I could. I that wheel would have snapped my wrist off. Into the pits for repairs. That would have uh, that would have absolutely smacked that would have smashed my wrist to a million pieces if I kept hold of that. Rough start, mate. We've got a lot of work to do now. My God, that was. Did you, did you see how much that wheel tried to kill me then? Whoa! <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, oh, there's definitely going to be a replay of that. Let's have a look at the car. Oh. Okay. 
Let's have a look at this then, shall we? <laughs> right, so... I don't know who's the leader out of these two. It might be the McLaren. So this Audi slammed on the brakes, right? Uh, and this BMW's just not reacting quick enough. So this guy's just gone... Bang, straight into the back of him. There you go, and then they're off. So that causes a really, really bad start. I'm not, quite, I'm not quite sure who it was. It must have been this Porsche up ahead. He just gives me no space. I've got... I've, I just go off the track. <laughs> oh... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So let's just I think I just got just got squeezed out here. I've just had to go on the grass and we know what the grass is like on I race. As soon as you touch it you die. So I mean yeah, I just there was just nowhere to go. Uh and then yeah, just had no space. As soon as I hit the brake on that grass, the car just went nope. Oh yeah. That kills one person. He kills me, he gets killed. Oh my god. Look at that car, man. Look at the state of that. The leader's just done a 135.42. See, I think... I got... When I, in, when I was racing, it felt like I got pushed wide, but I don't think he actually touches me. But I have to go off to avoid contact, and then I go on the grass, and I'm breaking... Look, I'm breaking whilst on the grass, and that's... And that's caused that. And then he goes off. And he causes that BMW to collide as well. And there's collisions behind me. Where's that McLaren? This McLaren just kind of nowhere, didn't it? What the f... I want to talk about this for up this McLaren for a second. Is it just me? Or does he just go straight forward? Like he brakes, right? You know he brakes. That goes. I think he did that on purpose. Look at this again. Look at this again. Look at this again. We'll look at look. We'll look at it slow mo this time. So he brakes in a straight line. So he's slowing down. Look, he's slow enough here. He's fine. He's making it. And then he accelerates again. Is that... That's weird, isn't it? He definitely... He went for it again, didn't he? He did that on purpose, I think. That was weird. I don't... He, uh, that was weird. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. And then just look at that. Goodness me. I wonder how many people have actually finished that race. Okay, that's, that's a lot of people. Uh, I don't know why he did it. I don't know why he did it. Right. Okay. That's a new fastest lap for Nebelsiak. 135.23. Oh, there's fast repairs. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're out of it anyway, so we won't go anywhere. Make sure we register for the next one, because that's in 10 minutes. Ah. Oh. Well, that's bloody annoying. It did look on pur it, it did look on purpose, didn't it? There's there's no doubt about that. Cockpit view will tell. Well, let's have a look at this cockpit, shall we? Yeah, yeah. You could so you can see on you can see his his rev counter. If you look at his rev counter, oh, it doesn't show it in slow mo. I'll show you. So, right, watch this rev counter here. Okay. Wait for it. See that sudden acceleration? Go. 
Goodness me. I'll tell you what, that's, that's, that's scary. That is scary if you're in the car. That's scary if you're in the car. Yeah. So right, I'll register for the next one. We'll try, we'll try again. At this point here, like my wheel, that my my wheel was gonna snap my wrist off. That was, that was a bit scary. I didn't like that. Um, I've got to be honest. That was a little bit scary. Um, did not like that at all. Looks like big accidents like that. If there's several like that, that was a little bit. Ooh, to be honest. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna report. I don't think I've ever reported anyone to be honest. Um, you know, uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Right, question for you, chat. Then, so we'll go. We'll go. We'll, we'll um. We'll go again. But do you want to see the four GT have another have an actual race, or do you want to? Should we try the Beamer? What do you reckon? Oh, I don't even want to know, Baz. I, I I imagine you just you just can't hold on. There's no way you can hold on. Yeah, it's a bit of a strange one that one. I've got to be honest. Uh, no, I don't think it was a bloke. BMW, BMW, Robin Reliant, nice, 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 nice. Can't run wrong with uh, Robin Reliant. Right, first two BMW, and Andrew says pick whatever you want. Right, let's go for the Beamer then, shall we? Let's just go for the Beamer, I think. You can't go wrong with the Beamer, can you? It is, without doubt, apps. It's an actual babe. Uh, and rumor has it, um, people in the BRT um, group. Or you know, team that I'm in. I've said the act the BMW is actually, if anything, is better after the update after season four. So you know, <laughs> it was pretty bloody good beforehand. But yeah, you value your arms. Yeah, Baz, I w I wouldn't bother. Sim racing vacations. That sounds like poop, Daddy. That sounds like my cup of tea. Sim racing vacations. Ooh la la. If you can't get enough sim racing at home, you can go to a, to a, to a different country and experience it there. I don't, know I, don't, I don't know about that. Unless it's like a really, really awesome setup. Um, I always feel like I'd, I'd prefer... I'd perform better on my own setup. Like, if I, if I went and went on someone else's rig, it could be exactly the same. But it just it, because it's not mine, I don't think I'd do as well. You know, I, it'll be a little bit weird. You know, when you ever go around like round your mates or whatever. Let's say you go around your mates to play COD or or FIFA or F1 games or any racing games. You go around your mates um, and you play on their console or their setup. It, it just don't feel right. You know, really bizarre. Right, Forza Troy, I see what you've just said there. You better not be trolling me. I feel like you're trolling me there. I missed you all of your videos. One long week and I guess I, uh, I missed my updated sub. Two dollars is well worth it. Cheers, Michael. Cheers, dude. Oh, God damn it, poop. God damn it. Okay, we can definitely get a time in this. New fastest lap for boss, 136.34. I'm hoping we won't be ranked number, you know, in top split. I'm going to be split two for, you know, some more, uh, push, push, push. You fire the top.
Okay. Best ones are 36 1. But it's 36 flat in the 4 GT in quality. I do feel as though the temperature was a little bit colder though. I knew, do you know what fours? I knew, I knew, I knew as soon as you said that. I thought he's just trolling here. There's no way because he did interviews and everything afterwards. So I should know better, shouldn't I? Yeah, Okay. Ah, a little bit too late on the brakes there, I think. That Merck's had a bit of an issue. Oof. Was going to hit me then. The track temperature's rising. It's now 40 Celsius. Ooh, 40 toasty. Must be racing at like one or two o'clock. Yeah, two p.m. No surprise there then. Good old BMW over the curbs. First lap 36 free. Oh. Damn. I think I took too much curb on the first first part of that chicane. Hey Phil, yeah, Spain wasn't too bad, thanks mate. Take care, Andrew, mate. Thanks for popping in as always. Better. Will they release an adapter? They won't release an adapter, Poop. What they'll do is they'll release a, a DD that's got a PlayStation license and uh, can be used on PlayStation and PC. That's what they'll do. So there'll be a PC version, uh, like the one I've got, and then there'll be a PlayStation one. Michael, that's mad. That's some crazy temps. Evening, Alan. Mate Kenny. Oh, we'll see if we can send him a message. Good spot. Sixth place. that much better I think a 35 is in this I just got to nail it I can't get a 35 in the beamer then I've got no hope you're gonna buy next I'll race a seat nice which one are you gonna buy B Pull over and join this
I imagine we'll be in the same race. Have a look. Put us in separate lobbies now. He did call me to come back here. Okay. I think mean, Kenny's, Kenny's got to be my target. Not, not in terms of a murder, because we murdered him already, chat. We shouldn't have done it. Kenny should be my target in terms of who I should beat, you know? It would be nice to beat Kenny, I think. You know? After his little, um... Colourful message, shall we say. Very, uh, very distinctive choice of words. Maybe he tries to kill me yet. Yeah, that's absolutely good. He absolutely could, you know. Absolutely could. Oh, Kenny. Beat him with a stick. God damn it. Right, come on. First race we've got P2. Second race we got absolutely murdered. Race three, it's got to have a bit more luck, right? We've got to have a bit more luck. Surely. Right, is he in here? I can't see him. No, I don't think he's. Oh, I don't think he's in here. I think we're in top split again. I, I can't see him. Not unless you guys, not, not unless being absolutely stupid, which is a real possibility. I don't think I can see him. GT Ultimate, nice, B. Nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, strength of field, 3.4k. Um, so very, very good strength for field in this one. Uh, I'll be one of the lower ranked guys in here. So we're going to have to again do our best not to be at the back. Although I don't know what they're going to do in terms of... Um, you know, if they're going to... The fact they're going to qualify. Because they didn't last time, did they? Celsius. 42 degrees, you little... God damn it. That is toasty, boys and girls. That is toasty. 13 is the McLaren Kamikaze. Oh, okay. Keep an eye out for him. Hello, I'm from Malaysia. Hello. Uh, I hope it's all good in Malaysia. Oh, nice ride off That does sound good. Okay, right. Here we go. Please no murderino. Oliver, we've got two. Just had a decent time. And the black stuff up. Roger Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the McLaren's tactics are for the next one. It's weird that he did it, but he's also straight into the next race. So it makes you think he didn't do it on purpose, but it just looked so... It looked so on purpose, you know? It looked very menacing, to say the least. I'll do my best to be careful on this one, Ingo. Alright, two laps then.
That felt really nice through there. <laughs> Cheers, Martin. This has felt like a really good lap. I hope it's good. Cheers, dude. I hope so, mate. It'd be nice. It'd be really difficult in this split, though. I'm saying, like, if I, if I got a top five, I'd be extremely happy in this split. Really commit to that. Basic three. That's Paul. That that was a one thirty six point three four. Oh. It's weird. That felt like a really good lap. It wasn't as good as I thought. Funny that the only time, the only car that I've got a 36 flat is the Ford GT. I will say that was colder though. Ah, oh, damn it! I took the mick. What's that going to be? 36 one. We kept us P2. That's a shame. Yeah, I definitely took the mick on that one. I, ju I was just doing absolutely everything to get the max out of the car, you know. Yeah, I'm P2, but... <laughs> there's, um... Well, P4 now. I was going to say, there's a lot of people not qualifying. P4 now. Is this a, is this something like, um, take care, Michael. Uh, is this just something that happens on week 13 or whatever on iRacing when it's all unranked? The the people just in top split not bother qualifying and just, you know, uh, start from the back for a bit of fun. I, could, I couldn't really blame them, you know. Also, actually, I've just got a bit of spare time. I'm actually going to have a quick look. What are the races tomorrow for GT Sport? What have we got? BC. Tokyo Express, South Interloop Race A. Race B, Interlagos, five laps, group three. The combo, very common. Brands Hatch. I thought I saw this somewhere. Group two at Brands Hatch. That does sound interesting. Times nine tire wear as well. The mandatory tire pit stop mediums. So is there hard tires involved as well? Ooh. Hmm. That looks like that could be good fun. Daily race C, to be honest. Daily race B, uh, seen a million times. Daily race A, uh, not too bothered about daily race A, really. That could be good fun. I could actually. Daily race C. That could be a good laugh. 
uh, Emir Khan, the guy that killed everyone in the last race. I think so, yeah. Start P4. I think, I think we've got the pace to stay with P1 and P2 in the race. So we'll see. We've just got to look out for... Um, we just got to look out for that McLaren. Kenny's not in here, so I can't murder him. He's fine. He's got nothing to worry about, Kenny. He's good. He's golden, chat. That's the end of the session. P4. Sounds like a fun daily race C for change, exactly. Should be good. All right. I just want to see if I can... That McLaren... It was, it was a, it had a golf livery, didn't it? Not any of these. If it's in this race, it's not, it's not headed to the track yet. Okay, it could be in a different car. Okay, you've got a Ferrari and a Porsche up ahead. So, a guy with 6.4k I rating did a 35.8. So, I think my optimal was a 36.1 there. So, three temps off of my absolute best time there. I think I... I don't think that's too bad. I'll take that. Uh, temps a little bit hotter as well. D17 is a McLaren. Is it, okay. Oh yeah, Emir. Okay, we'll keep an eye on him. Alright, 25 seconds and then we'll get this race underway. We've started in this position. We, have we qualified P4 for every race? I think we have, haven't we? Every race. This is race number four. Crazy. P4. The air temp is 25 Celsius. Uh, it is a fixed setup race, this one. It is indeed, yeah. We need to follow car number four in the right column. Oh, McLaren. Oh, the Ferrari here going for a very slow strat. Okay. So he's going to go for the strat of gunning it before the chicane. Well, this will cause carnage, surely. This will cause a bit of death. Or is he going to gun it at the chicane? Okay, Oliver. Be ready. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Okay. Let's go. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Oh. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh no. Looks like it's Lorna. Oh, that was a bit bad through there. Come on. Got a race in my hands now if I want to keep up with these two. Not really sure what happened to that Audi. Got some MR oversteer and just That's died. Right. Time to get stuck in. Incident in turn seven. We think it might be brown. We'll disconnect, yeah, it could be. Right, gaps 1.5 seconds right now. B2, 2.3 to P1. Only got a short race here.
Four seconds to fourth, yeah. Something's happened behind me, definitely. Nice one, Oliver. You're looking really good. Come on, keep your focus. P3. Cheers, Jim. Did he hit the wall there? Did Victor hit the wall there? I think he may have done. That could have been better from, from me there. Take care, Alan. Hey, hello, fatty, mate. Holiday wasn't too bad, thanks, mate. I hope you well. That's too quick over there. No worries, mate. Enjoy the game, buddy. That lap was actually faster than my qualifying time right there. Oh. Oh. What? What? The hell? I'm P2. What's happened there then? What the hell? Give up. That was weird. How strange was that? The gap in front has increased. It's now about 3.3. Stop for a donut. Must have been a good one. Oh no, Ollie! That's a huge slowdown. Oh my god! He's a 35-4. Goodness me, that is. Focus. Wow, that's crazy. A 35-4. How the f... 35-4, chat. What? He's hit the wall, has he? He slowed right down. He's hit the wall, I think. What the hell is going on in this one? This car's, it car looks fine. He's quick in a straight line. Oh. Maybe not. Is he doing it on purpose? He's not going in the pits and he's doing it on purpose. He's done it on purpose. Why has he done that? Weird.
It's the pity slowdown chat, the one you don't want. <laughs> He's slowing down so he can have a race. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, Oliver. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. No mistakes. God, this guy's quick. Yeah, I think I think he just enjoys the chase, you're not wrong. Bip. Kinga. I don't know who he is, but Halfway home. He he's, looks good. He's bloody good. He's taking the piss. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, cheers, dude. Now yeah, keep an eye on the guy behind me. Please don't tell me I've done it again. Are oh, you such a cock end, Ollie? God damn it! Why have I? I haven't done that. Like I didn't do that once on Thursday. Oh, goodness me, it's such a massive slowdown as well. I've thrown this away. I've absolutely thrown this away. Yeah, I'm doing it, Jeff. Jim. God damn it. Sorry, everyone. I'm not performing very well at the moment. Get the head back in the game. Incident in turn eight. All right, Oliver. We're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 0.5. There's an incident in the hairpin. I need to concentrate, get my head down and get that podium position back, you know? There we go. God. What the f... You can tell this is unranked this week, can't you? Goodness me. What was that? Did he just... Did he just... Oh. Tonight is not my night chat, clearly. Oh. Oh, it's kicking off in the chat. I just, I, n I did not have enough time for that. Alex, I'm going to report you. Which one's Alex? Oh, look at this. So, okay, so this this is the guy who wants to report this guy. But why? Oh. Oh. What the hell? Oh, he just crashed, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what 
Dad said you all need to uninstall the sim. <laughs> right. So what's happened here then? What's... I mean... Okay. I'm... I'm... I'm, I'm annoyed at this. Alright. It... I know it's unranked, you shouldn't really care, and that's fair enough. But... It's just ruined two other people's races there. What did he get? Did he, he hit the wall? Did he just get bent steering or something? I think he just got bent steering, chat. Nope. So, oh, goodness me. Oh, that completely ruined his steering. That completely ruined David's steering before he even got a chance. Look. As soon as he got hit, his steering's gone. Oh, God, what a calamity that was. Uh, I, know, I know it's... I know it's... Um, I'm ranked, you know, it's... It's a bit of fun as such, but yeah. You know. um, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Oh well. Sorry, no. <laughs> Sorry, it's not been very good tonight. Um, yeah, it's, I think just just a little bit of rustiness. You know, need to get back into the swing of things, and uh, we'll be okay. Um, but uh, yeah, just frustrating. I think this is. I think this has proven to me that I, I'm not, I'm going to leave week 13 alone. I'm not going to touch it um, now because I just think you can't have the races you want, uh, you know. Yeah, it's just a bit frustrating. We're gonna, I'm going to leave this now till Sunday because I don't think I don't want to do another race because it just it just keeps happening, you know. I don't think if, if we even go to Porsche, or whatever, it's just going to keep doing the same thing. So I think there's a reason why no one really. Um, streams for week 13 and I think you've kind of seen why to be honest so it should be back to normal on Tuesday so um, I'm going to leave it there everyone thanks for joining me again um, for this one it's um, been a bit crazy the races um, so yeah I'll leave you to it thanks for joining me uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend as you know as little you've got left and uh, hopefully fingers crossed I'll see you tomorrow for a GT Sport live stream but um, I'll end it there have a lovely rest of your weekend and I'll see you tomorrow take care um Ta-da!